What is an evangelical church? The word evangelical contains the word evangel, which is the same word translated as gospel, but down a different linguistic path. At its core, the meaning of evangelical is that it refers to a church that believes in the gospel being salvation by grace through faith in Jesus Christ's atonement, which is his death, burial, and resurrection. As a result, evangelical churches teach the necessity of a born-again salvation experience, the importance of telling others about this gospel, and a rejection of salvation by works. One quick note, another historical use of the term evangelical was to distinguish Protestants from Catholics during the Reformation. It is this meaning that is meant in some denominational names, such as the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, or ELCA, which is not evangelical in its more common meaning. Evangelical churches are present in nearly all Christian denominations. It is a cross-denominational movement. There are Evangelical Methodists, Presbyterians, Plymouth Brethren, Pentecostals, Free Churches, Baptists, and non-denominational churches. When working with LifeWay Research to identify evangelicals, the National Association of Evangelicals created four statements. Those who strongly agree with all four are classified as evangelical. The statements are these. First, the Bible is the highest authority for what I believe. Second, it is very important for me personally to encourage non-Christians to trust Jesus Christ as their Savior. Third, Jesus Christ's death on the cross is the only sacrifice that could remove the penalty of my sin. And fourth, only those who trust in Jesus Christ alone as their Savior receive God's free gift of eternal salvation. Prior to 1950, most evangelical churches looked like churches that are today categorized as fundamentalists. However, over the next half century, mainstream evangelicalism dropped many things that now set fundamentalist churches apart. Namely, they loosened separation so that most evangelical churches overlooked differences in theology between themselves, and they lowered and removed enforcement of biblical principles, such as modesty, prohibition of drinking alcohol, worldly entertainment, and standards of music. Due to this, fundamentalist churches, mainly Baptists, separated from the evangelical movement at large, which had become, in their terms, new evangelical, and the fundamentalist movement, previously considered nearly synonymous to evangelicalism, became distinct. The main ways to define evangelicalism is to compare it to the theological liberalism found within the mainline denominations and the view of the fundamentalists on the opposite side of the spectrum. As was mentioned before, evangelicalism holds to a born-again theology. Each person must have this experience where they believe on Jesus Christ and his death, burial, and resurrection as payment for their sins and substitution for their own deserved death. Fundamentalists also hold this belief, but most mainline churches do not. Evangelicals also hold to the inerrancy of Scripture. Fundamentalists do too, as this is one of their fundamentals that separated them from the modernists, but mainline churches generally reject biblical inerrancy. Evangelicals reject heterodoxy at a certain point. Fundamentalists will separate from other churches over most doctrines, such as methods of baptism, beliefs on end times, or Bible versions. Evangelicals divide beliefs up further into essentials and non-essentials. They will separate over things deemed essentials, especially over damnable heresies, those which, if believed, will cause a person to go to hell. Mainline churches only separate over apostasy or extreme forms of heterodoxy, if that. Evangelicals are in the middle when it comes to ecumenism. They will fellowship with other evangelicals and form alliances like the National Association of Evangelicals. They are more guarded than mainline churches, but more accepting than fundamentalists to groups with larger differences. As a movement, evangelicals believe in Christian exclusivity. That is, that a person must be a Christian to go to heaven, and that other religions are false. They would claim there is only one way to truth, and that is through Jesus Christ. In this, they agree with all fundamentalists and a quarter of those in mainline churches. Evangelicals, like fundamentalists, believe it is important to evangelize, to share one's faith regularly. Mainline churches generally don't hold this belief. Evangelical churches reject higher criticism, which mainline churches generally accept, but they are accepting of biblical textual criticism, which fundamentalist churches often reject. As a result, many evangelical churches don't take any position on Bible versions, and those that do take a position typically hold it loosely. 
Views from the Bible College and seminary-educated leaders of evangelical churches can often look different from the people in the pews, as shown by recent polling. In 2011, the Pew Research Center surveyed participants in the Third Lausanne Congress of World Evangelization as a gauge of evangelical beliefs. 93% identified as having had born-again experiences, with the average age being 17. 94% said that working to lead others to Christ is part of being a good evangelical. 97% said that astrology was incompatible with being an evangelical. And 96% say that Christianity is the one true faith leading to eternal life, while only 1% say that many religions can lead to eternal life. Areas of less agreement among evangelicals include drinking alcohol. 42% say that it is compatible with being a good evangelical, and 52% say it is not. 70% accept charismatism into evangelicalism by saying that speaking in tongues is compatible with being a good evangelical, while 26% say it is not. 50% say everything in the Bible should be taken literally, and 48% say not everything should. 47% reject evolution, while 41% take a view of God-guided evolution. Now let's check out some polling done on evangelical church members, not leaders. Pew Research Center's 2008 Religious Typology Survey shows these numbers for American evangelicals. 64% of evangelicals say Judaism can lead to eternal life. 35% say Islam can. 33% say Hinduism can. And 26% say atheism can. When asked how someone obtains eternal life, 11% identified actions as the determiner, 64% said belief, and 10% said a combination of belief and actions. Of the 64% who said belief was the way to obtain eternal life, 45% identified belief in Jesus or being born again as the requirement, 11% said belief in God or a higher power, and 8% spoke of generic belief or some other form of belief. A 2015 Pew Research Center survey showed that 82% of evangelicals believe in hell. So how many people in the United States are evangelical? 30 to 35% of Americans self-identify as evangelical, but Barna Research Group finds that when they ask specific doctrinal questions, the number is quite different. They use nine criteria to determine the true evangelicals. First, people who say they have made a personal commitment to Jesus Christ that is still important in their life today. Second, they also need to indicate they believe that when they die, they will go to heaven because they have confessed their sins and accepted Jesus Christ as their Savior. Third, they say their faith is very important in their life today. Fourth, they believe they have a personal responsibility to share their religious beliefs about Christ with non-Christians. Fifth, they need to believe that Satan exists. Sixth, believing that eternal salvation is possible only through grace, not works. Seventh, believing that Jesus Christ lived a sinless life on earth. Eighth, asserting that the Bible is accurate in all that it teaches. And ninth, describing God as the all-knowing, all-powerful, perfect deity who created the universe and still rules it today. By these criteria, Barna says only about 6% of Americans are evangelical. For more information on evangelicals and other Christian groups, check out the other videos here on the Ready to Harvest channel.